Hello, hello, hello there, YouTube. All right, so here we are. We are back in our Rise to Prosperity playthrough here on Mana Lords. No banditos, nothing along the lines like that. Just pure expansion and attempting to see if I can even manage a uh, medieval town. Even though, with the look of these houses, we're becoming more and more Victorian every episode. Which is all good. Uh, let's have a look. Stables. I'm sure I ordered one for there, but I'll wait. See when that turns up. And we are still trying to increase our supply of planks. And with the amount of money we got in, do you know what? Let's just buy it. Because I'm, I'm fed up of waiting, to be frank. Uh, so we're going to import them. Make sure we keep 80 in at a time. Uh, so we're importing those, exporting those. What are these blocks for? Uh, stone. How much stone do we have? Do you know what? Well, I have that as an import as well, but we only really need to have about 90 at a time, so we don't need to worry about getting any of that in right now. Uh, I am tempted to build some more housing along here. Not certain what I'd actually use them for, um, as I have gone into building armaments. And I think I do have a big enough workforce at this time. So we're just going to speed this up. See if we can get those planks in. And then we're going to see about increasing our manor here. Because we have been waiting a wee while for this. So getting that done would be great. Maybe having an extra family just purely as workers would be a, would be a better idea. Uh... Should I keep going up here, or should I fill in this gap here? Let's have a look, shall we? If I go from here, on the I don't really want them on the main road, to be honest. And that's right next to the housing. Mm. You never know, might want them for something. I like knocking them down so we get the two... Oh god, they are messed up again. Uh, I do like to knock them down now, ever since I saw a video which showed that each household, each plot, only takes up one fuel. So, so you'd have four families there, right? But it'd only be one fuel per burgage plot, which sounds good to me. So we'll get them sorted, get the extra people in. And then we'll have them just as normal workers so that they can come around and help build. Trading post storage is full. Oh yeah. Does that mean I need another state trading post? It could well do. It could well mean that. Because obviously, you know, well, <laughs> it's a bit much for a minute. Let's just put them next to each other. Can I put them next to each other? It would help if I stayed... There. Alright, if we get that built up, we'll stick some more traders in there, hopefully. That'll get things sorted. But yeah, these guys really... Uh, the old granary dude really needs to get some more people out. For some reason, my one won't update. I'm assuming there's a testing branch that we can download, which I've not done. Uh, which would give me all the updates that they're currently having. Or maybe it's just the game I'm playing won't let me do the update. I'm not certain. But that's no big deal, I don't think. Uh, we, as you can see, we've got absolutely buttloads of people here trying to get in and out of the traders. So hopefully our money... Well, we've got plenty of money coming in. It's no big deal for us. And then what about our planks? Ah, oh, look at that. Our planks are looking good now. So, a few houses being built, that's great. Let's go to Castle, and yes, we are going to commit to what's currently there. And then we'll see about building the rest of it once all that's done. So I think at the moment now, we're literally just waiting for things to, to get underway. So I'm going to give us a good angle here, and we're just going to see what happens. Alright, 
right, so they're done. Let's just add the expanding liver space so we got the extra people coming in. Let's, can we get a decent angle for this? Yeah, that'd do. Alright, a new trading post is ready, but we don't really have anyone sticking at the moment. I'm just going to pause it and see whether or not that's going to start being used as a storage. Probably not. That's fine. These guys just need to speed it up. They've got plenty of livestock. But anyway, anyway, let's watch the manor. They're definitely getting there. Oh, we've got the little entry post there. And some of the wall being built, but it does look like that wall does not connect. So... That's not filling me with confidence. <laughs> but we'll see whether or not that actually works. Yeah, I've got a feeling that's not going to happen, is it? So, nice and slowly being going around. But a massive old gap in the... Whoa! It's not going to protect my people from nothing. Alright, let's stick someone in there. Let's see if we can get someone in there. And help with all this trade. Oh, I wonder if they are independent of each other. No. No, they should be good. Come on, guys. Build up. Build it. Build it. Nearly there. Apparently we have storage is full all over the place. So we do have absolutely buttloads of everything at the moment. Ah, oh, they did fill in that gap. I'm so happy about that. Alright, lovely. So that is complete. The manor has been done. It is the more basic one. Where we've only got the actual wall. But we can add more at some point. Uh, add a garrison, tax office. Tax office is only cosmetic at the moment, so I probably won't bother with that. Don't really need to worry about 
a retinue, a garrison tower for retinue as we are doing a Rise to Prosperity playthrough rather than anything else. I'm going to whack another person in there. And where did all of my livestock go? I'm sure I... Is there nothing in here? Is it because I don't have someone in this? Do you know what? Just... Stable space 2. Oh, uh, maybe... There we go. There, there. Uh, I didn't think I'd assigned any to this. But it just does it. Fair enough. So we are... Our planks are well above what we need right now. So let's see about upgrading. Because I would like to get all this done. That will take us up to a few. But not quite the amount we need to go up to the small town. So, oh wow, look at them. They are being built reasonably fast. People get in the way. Nearly done. Look at the size of that one, though. I'd forgotten I'd done that one as well. Alright, so that one's done, that one's done, that one's done. So we are up to 8 out of 10 for us to go up. And I don't see why we shouldn't just do another 2. We can do these 2 at the end here. You know. Are they actually connected to the road? They are now. So... Let's just get this done, shall we? So that's already level 3 anyway. Must have randomly upgraded that without realising it. And do that. And let's see whether or not that gives us our next uh, settlement point. And we have absolutely loads. Sixteenth month's worth of food. Sixteenth month months worth of fuel that should mean everybody nope nope still only 95% on that don't understand we should have more than enough maybe I do need another market over there We are nearly ready. Come on, guys. There we go, settlement level increased. We are up to a small town. We have a development point we can use. But which direction do we do this to? Uh, 
carry on with making our armaments so that we can do more trade or concentrate more on food. Uh, there's not really much further to go this way trade-wise apart from this, which might be useful. But I'm pretty sure we're self-sufficient enough as it is. Don't need this because we don't have any deep mines to utilize. Could go for honey. I don't know. What are the policies looking like? I uh, don't really... No, I don't want to skip every fifth meal either. Um... Anything in the production? No. New upgrade fence up allows to use fallow fields as pastures, which rapidly restore lost fertility. That might be alright. Bakery extension produces bread from flour twice the efficiency of community oven. Mm. I think we're going to carry on with our uh, armorer stuff so that we can keep our trade empire going. Now, where did I? I think I just stuck everything over here earlier, didn't I? Yeah. So we're going to need a new one. These guys are all goats, which does keep us in our basic stuff. And if I want this guy to do the next one, I need to upgrade him. Do I have any upgrades which need to be assigned? Probably not. No. Mm, I've kept a lot of them small. So I think, yeah, we're going to upgrade this one. Once that's upgraded, we will swap into the new armor that we can make. And then obviously get that out for sale. And uh, yeah, everything's going really well in this playthrough. We've got plenty of food, plenty of clothes, plenty of everything, really. Um, it says we do have space for pastures. We could go that way, get some food in, or some animals in. Or we could just order the wool in and then do the production that way. We do have many, plenty of money to do that too. I'm pretty sure we are selling those tools, are we not? Trade. That would be these uh, tools. Nope, maybe this. We are not selling our tools. All right. So we'll export those and we do not need that many we will go down to 160 just to make sure we don't run out and we'll sell those off uh, luckily enough they have now been split here this to me that does though suggest I probably do need more housing um, somewhere along here maybe there yeah just so that we got the workers. Has this one been upgraded? It has. All right, let's go to armor. Once that's done, we will swap it to this one as we already have the helmets being produced. And then that can go towards our trading. But yeah, I think we're doing, we're quite prosperous in this town. Uh, there is obviously a few issues when it comes down to actually getting enough people in or all of this uh, storage related stuff. Got two granaries there. I'm sure that'll be fine. It's going to increase that size. Oh, and we do need another st basic storehouse. A large storehouse. Didn't I build? I've just built granaries everywhere. Okay. <laughs> so I just seem to have built granaries like there's no tomorrow. And no actual storehouse. So we could do that now. We'll add a proper storehouse in. We'll chuck two in. And then any new people we get from the new buildings I'm hoping to build in a second. We can just whack them all in there as workers. So let's fill in this bit. And we'll have a quite a few this time. But we don't really need them producing anything at the moment. 
But we'll keep it there just in case we decide different. And if I... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that'll do. Look at that. It is looking good, isn't it? Alright, so yeah, in this episode we have expanded quite a fair bit. Managed to get the old mana sorted out. Uh, increased our trade potential. And we have gotten ourselves up to a small town. Uh, medium town even. And we've only got five burgage plots to increase to get ourselves up to a medium town. Which we'll more than likely crack on with in the next episode as we've got planks now coming in via the trading system. And then yeah, we'll see whether or not we can get to our medium town size in the next episode. Alright, so yeah, thank you guys very much for joining me for this one. Please like, comment and subscribe, it really does help the channel. And uh, I'll catch you in the next. Cheers, bye bye.